Now, gravitational waves are the ripples in the fabric of space-time that make up the universe. No, I don't really understand that either. In fact, though, they form part of Einstein's century-old theory of relativity, but they're a phenomenon the great man himself never managed to prove. Tonight, therefore, somewhere high above us, a rocket is on a mission to show he was right. Clearly, it is the kind of question you won't be able to sleep until you know the answer to. This, neuf, vite. Set, the countdown might have been in French, but this launch was made in Britain. The Lisa Pathfinder was designed and built in Stevenage, and the team who made it stayed up through the night to see it take off. There are no astronauts on board, though. This is a £12 billion physics project and it's been 100 years in the making. This is a mission that's going to go to the deep, a very quiet part of space to determine whether Einstein was right about the theory of relativity. We need to be able to see whether um, atomic variations in space will really prove whether Einstein was correct. Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity was crafted exactly a century ago yesterday, predicting ripples in the fabric of space-time. These are known as gravity waves, and they've been almost impossible to detect on Earth because conditions here are too unstable. That's where the Stevenage spacecraft comes in. What we're trying to demonstrate is that we can control the spacecraft so well that we could detect gravity waves. And the reason that's challenging is that gravity waves are incredibly tiny. They're half to a quarter of an atom. You're obviously excited by it, but why does it matter for people who are watching this at home? It will increase our understanding of the universe, but we've also developed some technologies that will be moved on to other spacecraft, so perhaps your broadband internet TV signal could be a bit sharper. Tackling Einstein's 100-year-old theory of relativity is no small step for man, but if monitoring two free-floating gold platinum alloy cubes in a vacuum from a stable orbit one and a half million kilometres from Earth is what it takes, and if it's going to make your TV signal even better at the same time, it'll certainly be a worthy pursuit. Peter Smith, News at 10.